Hello, today we are going to take a look at KPI cards that we also call data visualization card and charts using Novacura Flow Portal and how they can be applied. Just as with any reporting or any other BI tool, the data first needs to be transformed into something the chart can show. This is not what we will cover here. Uh, we will rather focus on uh, how to configure the front end, meaning the cards and the actual charts in the portal. And then we will also look at some applications. So the card itself has like all portal objects, an internal name and a portalet title. It can auto refresh, meaning it will refresh the query and update the card at any given interval. This could, for instance, be done if in a kiosk mode. Commands can be used, meaning that the KPI card can both listen to other portlets and also send data to other portlets. And it can also be used to send data to other KPI cards, which we will uh, look at later on in this video. Moving down to query configuration, as normal, you choose a database connector and you specify your query against the database. This is what I consider to be backend, so we will not dig into this right now. The option to show the process as a process card uh, means that you can have the cards in a shape of an arrow, just like this. This was a customer change request uh, in order to have the cards to symbolize a step in a process in a more clear way. Uh, we will soon look at the real a uh, real, uh, real world solution and I think it will become more clearer. On the card we have some ways to show the data that we have retrieved from the query. First there is uh, the description and we can for all of these we can either hard code the value then it will be same for other cards or we can from the drop down here, here select one of the columns from our query. This description is uh, the description of the text on the card which is shown shown here. And then we have the data column, which uh, is what is the actual KPI value or the key performance indicator value. So that will be shown as a large text or, or a large number, it can be both. Then moving down we also have the unit field, which be, will be what uh, follows the data, but it can be anything you choose, like pieces or percentage or yes whatever million billion thousand dollar uh, pound euros and then we have the uh, the next column here is the uh, priority value that is a number where you, that you can put uh, in the lower right corner of the card you can use it for anything but in in the first case when we did these um, the request was to have it to indicate uh, a priority and that's why we call it the priority value. The trend value uh, is what a little arrow uh, that is shown on the bottom left of the card. It can point in five different directions moving from downwards to 45 degrees downwards right or straight to the right, uh, up right or straight up uh, and uh, the, the, the arrow will listen to five different values uh, ranging from minus two to plus two and so minus two the arrow will point down and plus two the arrow will point straight up. We also have the capability to put color rules on both the background of the card and also on the text of the cards uh, depending on different rules. So here you set up of a rule value uh, and compare that against either a hard coded value or another rule value that you can you know, can be included in your select statement and if the rule hits yeah the color will be applied moving uh, from from the top rule here and moving down okay let's take a look at the real world example in this case we have a lean based team target board for a car reseller that uses Novacura Flow and Portal to capture input data from different ID systems and also by performing surveys among the employees and customers. This company has decided on some 50 KPIs for their service department and some 180 KPIs for their sales department. And they are grouped by 
13 uh, respectively 24 processes for the different departments. So to use their terminology, each process contains two or more KPIs uh, and the target values are set by the employees and teams for each KPI and they compare that versus an actual value that is either read from different systems or also captures captured by using Flow as a survey tool. Each week they have a stand-up meeting where the uh, departments gather around a large touchscreen walking through the target and actual values for last week. In the first tab here we are using the DV cards as process cards, if you remember that little tick box from before, showing how many of the containing KPIs are OK and coloring them accordingly. So we can see that this team has a couple of OK processes for this week. The colors and numbers indicate if they are on target, close to target, or far from target. Moving on to a different tab, we can dig down a little bit more into the data. So the first row here is the same as we just looked at, but with smaller process cards showing the same thing. Clicking on the first green cards show me the actual KPI values under this process. The white card in the row below is my actual value for this KPI for this week, and the yellow card is the target value. So six cards on this row makes for three KPIs with a different target and a different current value. The bottom row contains some charts for the different KPIs. In this case, we have chosen bar charts indicating a two month, a six month, and a year to date pace to see the trend for this KPI. If I go to the next card, I can see in the overview on the process card that I have only achieved one KPI out of three for this week, uh, and the card is therefore also red. And on the row below, I can see the actual numbers for each KPI, both the current value and the target value. And in the bottom, we can see trend charts for these KPIs under this process. So this is an example of the KPI cards and some graphs using Flow and Flow Portal. We are also using Flow and our connectors to integrate this solution to many different underlying systems. And also to enter target values and doing user surveys to get the actual values for the KPIs. So in contrast to a normal BI solution, uh, where the BI tool is probably only used to read and present data, we are here also using Flow to enter data and connect to different systems. Alright, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.